Welcome to the Friday Wrap, and it's uh, July the 15th. Is it? It's July the 15th, if you can imagine. <laughs> it's going by so fast. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It's been a hot, hot, hot summer so oh, far yeah. here in Niagara. I know it's like it in your end of the woods, but definitely here in Niagara, it's been super hot. And today, actually, because of the weather, which we thought we were going to get a lot of rain, it was really terrible this morning. We did have rain falling, and these wicked winds, and it's still actually kind of windy here, so it's bad to shoot outside. But we were going to shoot outside and have some great guests, and I said, you know what, why don't we wait till next week? We had uh, John Jackson, the Executive Director of Niagara Tourism, who was going to fill us all in on what's happening in Niagara and going to be happening in the future. Yeah, we had Jody LaRosa as well was going to come on with us, Tourism Partnership of Niagara. She's the top dog there. And the Claim the Eighth campaign, she's in charge of that. So, Which, which is a great campaign because remember, and it's got lost somewhere, because even when I first looked yeah. at it, I went, what is that Claim the Eighth? Claim the Eighth what? Yeah. But it's the Eighth Wonder, wonder of, the of the World, which I think is the first Wonder of the World in Niagara Falls. But anyways, we want to get back on track with that, and uh, they're working hard at that, and businesses should hop on board. Definitely get Falls involved. Well. Definitely get involved. So recap, big things, a lot of things happened this week. Of course, last Friday on The Wrap, we had the Beer League Beauty, Nicole Cordon, with us, and uh, she showed you some hockey tricks, tricks. some moves, which we did not get on tape. I did them off camera, but never taped. Yeah, you were... You were <laughs> I think the pressure was too great. It was too great. It was hot <laughs> outside. But, you know, after, I just wish we had kept the cameras rolling, because you actually did some nice stuff with us. Oh, uh, so did you. You actually got it on tape, though. Yeah, but, you know, I still wanted to get it in the middle. Actually, what I want to do is flip it up, go like this, and catch it in the middle, but it didn't work out, so <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And, and you were on the, the ice with her, too, as well. Yesterday. I was supposed to be there, but, yeah. you know, things got in the way. Actually, you were just chicken. Chicken out. out. <laughs> yeah, is that what you did? I was, I was being, you know, polit politically correct. Well, director John <laughs> and I went out and uh, filmed some of her stuff for her, because um, she's, uh, she's, she is, like, very like, talented. crazy on the internet, yeah. right? She's over a million viewers on... I forget, Instagram and a pile of other things and growing, got some sponsorships. So we got out there and that's the first time I've been on skates in three years. And they weren't sharp when I got out oh, there. And I got no. there and went, Woo. Oh, this doesn't It's like feel a bad so cartoon. Good. Your legs are going everywhere. But you know what? Then I, I got it and I got better. Not that it was fast, but I, I could still pass the puck, still shoot it, still skate a little bit, yeah. cross my legs, go backwards. Ooh, so look at you go. Pass over. So I, you know, I was <laughs> I was happy. I wasn't happy when I first got out there. Oh, I never felt like this. I'm going to be grabbing right. the board. Yeah. And Rick Vive has actually volunteered to help me get yeah. back on the ice. Yeah, and your biggest problem is, is that you wear figure skates. I know. I know. I've never worn a pair of boy skates in my life. I think I'd just fall on my behind. <laughs> so I'm sticking with the figure skates. Rick, <laughs> good luck with that one. Good luck teaching her. <laughs> she will have some tricks. Keep practicing your stick tricks, though. Okay, I that'll, will. That'll really I will. get him excited. <laughs> now, Dick Gutman, who is the number one agent in Hollywood who handles all kinds of movies, press agent, actually, and uh, he the biggest names in Hollywood, and he still handles them. Singers, Barbara Streisand, Kirk Douglas, you name it. The list goes on and on and on and on and yeah. on. And that show is super interesting. He, he wrote a book called Flackers. Uh, the Golden Age of Hollywood. Yeah, the Golden Age, and it's a great read. And it true is, truly is the Golden Age of Hollywood. What he talks about is, it just drew me in of what, you know, it was like back then. It was really interesting. Well, Dr. Judy Stavely, who is coming on the show tomorrow, we're actually going to be recording her tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, she actually saw the show and already bought the book. Oh, fantastic. She, yeah, she's, I got to see it. Because if, yeah. you, if you love Hollywood, that's the show. You're you, going to learn. Yeah, and go to... The Pete and Reet YouTube channel, which is easy. Go to PeteandReet.com. Remember, it's P-E-E-T-A-N-D-R-E-E-T.com. Go there. Hit the video. It comes on. You can subscribe. Really easy. And it's not gonna. It's not like anything's going to happen. It's going to cost free. you anything. It's free. The only thing that happens is when we put up another video, you get a notice saying, hey, they got one. And maybe you want to click on it and see. Exactly. Tia Carrera just went up there. She week. was fabulous. Did I say her what name right? What a funny right? lady. Yes, yeah, you, I, did. Yeah. you did. You <laughs> did. We she, both thought it was Carrera, and I don't know but why. But it's not. She yeah. corrected us, rightly yeah. so. Yeah. But we've had lots of people on our show, Kreskin, Jay Leno, Walter Gretzky, um, Dee Mini Wallace, Mini-Me. I mean, it's been a fantastic like ride so Doc, far. Dr. Peter Sacco, if you're into ghosts and ghost chasing, oh. this guy is fantastic. Super talented, super intelligent guy. Patrick White from Conspiracy uh, Culture in, in Toronto. Toronto, and he's known around the world. For uh, his store and what he does, and you know, and he makes you think when he talks about each subject. You're like, whoa, yeah, that yeah. could possibly be. He definitely knows his stuff. By the way, um, we have a new segment on the Friday round. We do. Right? It's called Pete and Reed's Pick. 
No, it's I, no, it's not like that. Like, no, 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 it's not like that. <laughs> You're sure. I forgot too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you have a hold of a big one I, there? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Okay. Darn it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. John's being shaking. silly John's on the Friday wrap. Yeah, well, you got to be a little silly, right? <laughs> it's Friday. Yeah. So, anyways, what it is really is, it's we're going to pick something. It could be something that we've seen on TV, on the internet, um, something somebody, that went viral, mostly. Yeah, and, I think that's what we should and do. And we're going to put that piece on. And uh, today, actually, is going to be our first one. Yeah. And the first lady on is uh, Jane Elliott, and yeah. you'll, we'll tell you about that in just a, a couple of minutes. Now. I want to get into some stuff. I know I, you, I, you've been dying to talk about this government stuff, haven't you? Well, I, I, you know what? I just it actually irritates me. It irritates me that every week we got to find out something. If you and I don't run our business properly and we do things that aren't right, illegal. Yeah, we pay, are responsible, or we go to jail. Right. right. So now, fill us in. Well, the Ontario government decided that while well, they put out a thing saying that they only spent what eight point five million dollars for this project, which was actually Trip. when the strike, the strike for jails was yeah. supposed to be coming up. That was how much it was supposed to cost to replace people and management and put accommodations. You know, yeah, all that stuff. Well, in truth, it cost forty four million dollars okay, so. and they lied about it. And the only reason we know about it is because of the Freedom Act where you can actually find stuff like this, and they actually posted that. I mean, that's unbelievable. Nearly $32 million was spent on one-time expenses, including accommodations for managers and private security. Now, do you think $44 million could have helped the healthcare system save some much-needed nurses? They just blew out 1,400 nurses over the last year which what they took Hudak and his government down because he didn't uh, he was going to do that and said he was going to do it not smart I guess when you're a politician but honesty's got to prevail we as Canadians we got, got to, to wake step up. up yeah let's wake up like come on you know this is happening and these are only little things that we find out about what about you know the 95 or 99 percent of stuff we don't hear about well remember we talked about the uh, the hydro line that's gone into Caledonia in Ontario and it stopped there because there's an argument over the land and I believe the natives are involved with that as well yeah and uh it's so don't you far, think you would have checked that out ahead of time absolutely it, good just, planning right if yeah you're, you're building a business you did a hundred million dollars to get it to where it is 50 million 50 million dollars right now it's cost in interest rates and guess what that line was going to do uh i think it was going to go to the states it was going to feed power yeah into ontario from the states yeah now you figure that out okay Wayne Gates, who was the MPP for the Niagara area, said that he was, uh, he told us actually, that uh, there's so much power that they send it across the states for free. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. Look at he our did. show. Go on our website. Yeah. Go on uh, YouTube. You'll see it. He said it. And ship to Michigan and then charge. Now, what are they going to do? Charge it back? Back. And double charge Absolutely, they are. So, it's terrible. Anyway, so, I got to relax. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Calm. So... I think we're going to let you calm yeah. down. We, as Canadians, have to start, stop doing this, okay? Just, no blinders. Yeah, just stand up and say, I don't like paying for gas when it shouldn't be as high as it. I don't like paying for hydro when it's like this. I don't like having you spend my money. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but am I right? You're oh, right. God, please wake up. Let's, yeah, let's stand right. together. We stand together, we win. We know that for a fact. So. Are you running for politics or anything? You know what? I came from news where I was always after the politicians, so no, I didn't. No, oh. no I won't. No, I can't. <laughs> well, we're going to cut it off there, and we're going to yeah. come back on the Pete and Reed show, and maybe we'll uh, watch our video first. What well, I that? think that's what we're going to do right, right now. Yeah, we're going to okay, head over cool. and see what uh, Jane Elliott has to say about racism. And we know what's been going on uh, lately with the police killings and the it's guys who have shot. Terrible shot uh, suspects at close range and I mean again you're only seeing part of the video but as far as I'm concerned in this day and age you don't shoot people point blank and not five six times I'm sorry that's my opinion and you're entitled uh, to it yeah and I'm the other thing is we are all one people we need to get along and we need to love each other and care for each other and I think this lady got it, it right. all up. yeah why do we hate we hate because we're taught to hate we hate because we're ignorant we are the product of ignorant people who have been taught an ignorant thing, which is that there are four or five different races. There are not four or five different races. There's only one race on the face of the earth, and we're all members of that race, the human race. But we, but we have separated people into races so that some of us can see ourselves as superior to the others. 
We thought it would work, I guess. It hasn't worked. It has been bad for everyone. But it's time to get over this business. There is no gene for racism. There's no gene for bigotry. You're not born a bigot. You have to learn to be a bigot. Anything you learn, you can unlearn. It's time to unlearn our bigotry. It's time to get over this thing, and we best get over it pretty soon. I'm an educator, and it is my business as an educator to lead, lead people out of ignorance. The ignorance of thinking that you're better or worse than someone else because of the amount of a pigment in your skin. Pigmentation in your skin has nothing to do with intelligence or with your worth as a human being. It's time to get over it. Exactly. Right so, you know what? We got to get over ourselves. We are no better. There are bad people in every, I guess, say Eth race, yep. ethnic race. Um, there are bad human beings. Yeah, bad human period. Beings. Let's get together. Let's get it together. Let's work together and let's make this place, place a better place to live for everybody, no matter where they are in the world. There is no excuses for people to be suffering, tortured, uh, not no, being that's, fed. You know? Oh, it's, it's just horrible horrifying and what was happening in Dallas and all that it's just just so sad to watch yeah terrible 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 um, coming back to Niagara Falls let's get back on a happier note uh, Mayor Jim Diodati uh, the mayor of Niagara Falls here in Canada uh, he actually had the Toronto Maple Leafs in for a training camp a short yeah, four-day yeah. training camp yeah the Gale Center and they had a blast apparently uh, Mike Babcock uh, just loved it here, thought it was absolutely fabulous, did some fishing while he was in the area, nice. hung out, you know, and uh, hung out with the mayor, actually, smooching a little with the mayor. And uh, <laughs> apparently Jim Diodati, though, thinks that uh, the Leafs can win the Stanley Cup. He's trying to bring the Leafs oh. training camp here to train. And he says because they have the highest, con we have the highest concentration of natural occurring negative ions that it will bring them good luck. <laughs> I think we need to put put our money where our mouth is on that one. <laughs> well, you know what? I don't know what's going to help the Leafs. I don't know if it's a negative eye. Uh, but good try, Jimmy Diodat. <laughs> we like the positive thinking, <laughs> yeah. but wow, that's just crazy. So uh, it's it's summertime, right? Yeah. And people go on vacation. And you dug up a really great list of people. Listen, listen. If you're going to listen to any part of our show, this is important. Ways to keep away burglars because we do all go on vacation and we do stuff and you don't think because you're so happy I gotta, yeah, yeah, go on vacation I'm gonna whatever, have fun, you know or even at the corner beer. store yeah. whatever one thing you shouldn't do is put a mirror by your front door why is that because it, if it reflects it could reflect the camera if you have a security system and that that burglar could see it and realize oh the red light's not on hey they don't in. have their security system on Go in, check your windows and doors. If somebody comes into your house, you know, say they're cleaning your carpets, they're doing some plumbing, check your windows and doors, especially if they're working in the basement, because they may have left one open for to return later, mm -hmm. which makes complete sense. Or have one of their accomplices. Yeah, exactly. Later. Close your curtains. Don't have everybody see the gorgeous furniture you just bought. The radio, hide the stereo. It. Hide the TV, it. Yes. Right? Keep it closed. Plus, it'll keep the heat out a little bit. Yeah. Jewelry. Most women put their jewelry where? Where do you think? Uh, I would say in their dresser drawer under their underwear. Yes. <laughs> Is that a good yeah, one? That's, yeah, that's a first. That under mattress and in the bedside table. Oddly enough, not a jewelry box, but whatever. Um, <laughs> but they're saying, police are saying, um, do not do that. Put it in the attic. Maybe a kid's room, hide it somewhere in there, because chances are a prowler isn't going to go in the kid's room or, you know, one of them going to steal a stuffed toy. Under the bag, in the garbage. Just stick it under there. They, they're definitely then, not gonna... Oh, you're not going to wear it. it. It'd be all smelly then. <laughs> Thanks. Under the bag, <laughs> in a bag. Flat screen TV, or if you go out and buy some, you know, stereo equipment. Electronics. Break up the boxes into sminy, uh, sminy, Smiles. small, small, sminy pieces. Um, <laughs> That's a new word for us. It sminy. is sminy. We'll means. use that later. <laughs> um, tiny pieces, and then put them out in the garbage so people can, don't notice. You can hide it under other stuff in your blue box. Ah, because you never know who's looking at what you have in your well, house. Well, the garbage man bought. comes up and goes, whoa, big 80-inch 80, 80 screen. Wow, hey, cool. by the way, get over to this address. Happened to my girlfriend four times, trust me. Social media, yeah, do this not... Kills, this kills me. Yeah, do not go on social media and post while you're on vacation that you're on vacation. <laughs> Wait till you get home and send everybody your pictures because they know you're now at, not at home. And then pretend like you're on vacation and you'll catch them. <laughs> do it when you get back back yeah, be smart can't believe the amount of people that actually do that oh, yeah. all the time going, are you kidding me yeah 
Oh, we're just getting ready. We're just packing up. We're just yeah, going leaving. We're going. We're going to be gone for two weeks. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Back on the seventeenth. <laughs> Talk to you then. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One more thing. One more pickle. Oh, one more pickle. Yeah, the rotten What's... pickle. Well, you know Netflix and Google. Oh and yeah. YouTube and here we go with the Canadian government who doesn't have enough money. And let me tell you, we we just could have saved you by not wasting forty four million and another fifty million on interest pay, uh, uh, payments for the hydro, and you could have actually gathered what you said you could collect if you start taxing Netflix and Google. Now at Netflix, get this, at $9.99, which is what you pay a month, right? Yeah. Um, the government's losing out on $80 million in tax revenues. Wow. $80 million. Now, but we blew more than that. Yeah. Anyways, you know what? Just stop taking money out of our pockets. Do it responsibly, and you're not going to have to look for every nook and cranny that we don't have. Actually, we don't have any money to hide under our no. beds anymore. It's, no, it's, there it's is nothing. Gone. The cupboard it. is bare, as they say. And what they say they're going to—they want this money for is uh, to help. Uh, this is the CRTC, is it not? That's yeah, the CRTC spearheading this whole thing. Government. Yeah, so they want to support Canadian culture and media. You know what I say? Big BS on that. What Did a it? load. Well, that would be us. You guys want to support us? Yeah. Yeah, we're what a load that is. Yeah. Show me show me where you're putting it first. And 5%, and this is one thing, as a broadcaster who worked for companies that we always had to compete, and at that time the CBC didn't because they were taking care of, so it didn't matter what ratings you had, you, you still survived. We didn't have ratings, we died. Sorry, thank you for being on the radio station or TV. You're yeah, there's gone. the door. Out the door. But 5% of this money now is going to go uh, to create Canadian programming. And you see, you, you got to survive because you're good enough. And I don't exactly. think... Exactly. Canadian programming didn't survive before. No. Now What's it's, the difference? It's gotten better. It really has. Except, I'll tell you where the one place we made a mistake. Guess where? Hockey night in Canada. We screwed oh. up big time. We're the originators. My American friends used to love anytime they could get hockey night in Canada on with Ron McLean and Don Cherry, the way it was done, the way we did hockey because it's our sport, they were there. And yeah. what did they do? They changed it. Ugh. And now they're coming back. And I thank know. God. Ron, thank Ooh, you for coming yes. back. And, uh, Absolutely. So there you go. That's my That's little, the Friday wrap. That's the Friday wrap. I think wrap. we wrapped the Friday wrap. I think we ranted the Friday wrap, too. <laughs> Anyways, please, get to PeteReed.com. Subscribe. Subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. Tomorrow, uh, Dr. Uh, Judy Stavely will That's be right. on the show. And uh, you're going to want to watch that show. She's a, uh, a triathlete. Fitness guru, yes. been on all kinds of TV shows. She's also super intelligent. She's a doctor because she's a doctor of biochemistry. Right, and she also has her own magazine company as Called well. The platform, platform magazine. Yeah, and it's really it's a really well done magazine. And she's a forensic expert, which she teaches it at university. And she's gorgeous. She's got it all. She's got looks and smarts. What the heck? <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk to her about that. How does that happen? So that'll be coming out next week. We'll be shooting that tomorrow, I believe, uh, in St. Catharines. So listen, enjoy your weekend. Have a great week and we'll see you next time on Friday Rapid TV.